Hi all, here's a demo video on setting up workflows using msigner.com. Log into www.msigner.com using your admin username and password. You can find your profile image on top right corner. On clicking the same, settings menu will be displayed. You'll find manage workflow option, click the same. Here, you'll find create new workflow button on top right of your workspace, workflow space, click the same. Enter workflow name and click save to create a new workflow. Once the workflow is created, you will see setup form template button on the right button to upload the document template. Click the same. Click upload documents button to upload the document template. Click continue button to upload successfully and proceed further. In this step, you'll be able to view the uploaded document template. Now you'll see two accordions on right side of your panel. Select signing type, serial or parallel. Specify number of signatories and their positions. In this accordion, you'll be able to add signatories by clicking Add Signatories button, for example, Signatory 1 or Signatory 2. Here, I'm going to add two signatories. Upon clicking Signatory 1 option, you will see two radio buttons, Signer or Reviewer. With this, the user can decide whether the signing party is a reviewer or a signer. Here, the signer will be the actual signer of the document and the reviewer will be the user who will just review the document and provide reviewer comments. You will also see the option to choose the page and position in which signatures need to be placed. Once the above steps are completed, Click Activate Workflow button. You'll find a pop-up with available departments. You can select departments to which the workflow should be accessible and click Save. Upon completing all steps, your workflow will be created and activated successfully. All the workflows created could be found on the left side of the screen on MSigner homepage. Select the workflow that we just created and upload the actual document that needs the signature from all the authorized signatories. You also have an option to enter reference number. This reference number can bring in searching and retrieving of the document from DocStore once the document is uploaded, you'll find continue button in the bottom right of your screen. Click the same to move to next step. In this step, you'll see preview of documents that were uploaded. Select the signatories from right side of the screen. And now to perform this activity, I'll keep myself Jordan as a first signatory and Mark as another authorized signatory. If your authorized signatory is an ad hoc signer, then add the details by clicking on the plus icon. Put the details of ad hoc signer and click on submit button to save the details.
coming back, now click on save and continue button as the user will be navigated to the next screen. If you are the first signatory, then it will take you to signing page or else just send the workflow to signatory one. As I've defined myself as a first signatory, I will have the window to sign the document. Here, I can select signature type like D-Sign, E-Signature, E-Sign and click Sign. Once the signing process is completed, user will see a message like workflow signed and initiated successfully. Now, I will enter login credentials to mark our next authorized signatory to show you as an example. Now, go to the Pending tab. Click on View Document Icon. Here, Mark can find option to comment and sign. Select Signature Type, D-Sign, E-Signature or E-Sign and click Sign. Once the signing process is completed, user will see a message like the document has been signed successfully. After this, all signatories will get an email saying that your documents have been completed and signed successfully.